so while this intro is going, welcome to Duct Tape Plays. Tonight we are playing Earthbound, and for a while we will be playing Earthbound because this game's pretty long. But it is pretty good. As I'm sure some of you know, maybe, this game is actually the second in the Mother series. I have not played the first one, and I have not finished the third one. But I can tell you, at least this one's excellent. Absolutely excellent. But we're gonna. Duck's house. What was that? Uh, let's go in here. Hello, Tracy. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? No, but I'm gonna take this baseball bat. Fine. I have 20 bucks to my name. Oh, hey, Mom. What was that noise? Duck, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Can't go investigate in my pajamas. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not a, not a cave person. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? You only have a dollar, Fox? Uh, weird times when a video game 12 year old is better off financially. I know that feeling, though. Go see what's up. Hey, cop. Meteorite has landed. Sharks are running wild in town, kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. Hate my job. Dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you to go, it won't stop you, will it? I don't know, you're a police officer. You could probably just stop me. I don't know. <laughs> what else we got going on? Hey you, don't you know what time it is? Nah, there's no clock. But there is a present. Inside there was a bread roll. So instead of uh, the usual RPG tropes, this game goes uh, very western on its items and stuff. So instead of uh, the usual swords and magic and stuff, we've got baseball bats. And instead of potions, we've got uh, food items. Like bread rolls or cookies. Pizzas? Anything, really. But not the standard tropey items. Meteorite looks different than usual. Strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. As if this man saw meteorites all the time to know what another one would look like. Hey, Pokey. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. In officer's way. You can go home now, tomorrow. I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. <laughs> no, Pokey is not my friend. Uh, what happens if I say that he is? Yeah. Pokey's not my friend. Uh, 
while you guys are talking about the Donut County stream. The game was so fun. Very Katamari Damacy. Hello, Mother. Welcome home. Not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Yeah, sure. I'll scoot. She's a terrible mother. His father's almost, his probably even worse, but, you know, you never see him, so it's really hard to judge. <laughs> oh. Pounding on the door. What could it be? That's pokey. Well, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> Pokey's such a jerk. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing suddenly were left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. They were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed Picky was gone. To blame the cops, it certainly wasn't my fault at all. If my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me? Or help me find Picky? Yeah. Blow this popsicle stand. I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take Hubert along. Already got that cracked bat. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Come on, Mom. Can I go anywhere in my pajamas? No. <laughs> Absent fathers are easy to judge. And yeah, Pokey sucks. Yeah, I'll take you along. Hubert joins me. I'm gonna... No, I can't talk to my dad. Alright, you go in front, I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. <laughs> I, am I one of those people that go to Walmart in their PJs? Oh, no. Oh, hello, phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work too exhausted when you're young. Have you heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. You can make a record of your progress when you call me. Deposit 30 bucks into your bank account. Thanks, Dad. I do have my ATM card. I, or uh, what? Well, the father over here, at least. Wah ha ha. Wah. Plan, beep. So, Ness's dad is never once shown, but he does fill the role of the save mechanic. So anytime you need to save, you call Ness's dad. We have engaged the coil snake. Yes, Ness's dad fills the role of Ness's dad. <laughs> and also, a uh, another uh, trope dodge in this game. You don't get money whenever you uh, defeat enemies. No one just has an amount of dollar bills to give you. Especially not snakes or anything. So, unbeknownst to you, and somehow, your father is tracking everything that you do and will deposit money directly into your bank account <laughs> based on all the enemies you've defeated. Because you know, that's how it goes. So even though we have two party members, they're temporary party members, so the game doesn't track them in any way. It's kind of do stuff. Pokey is totally useless, but uh, the dog, pretty alright. Level 2. My attack went up by 1. I got some stuff, and I learned uh, Life Up Alpha. Instead of magic, we have psychic abilities. As you know, psychic 12-year-old. Or 11. I don't know. S is an age. Yes. Oh, the spiteful crow. 
guys are jerks. They can steal items out of your inventory, which is awful. <laughs> Come on, I can't hit this dumb bird. Uh, maybe Hubert can just take care of it himself. Playful crows drop cookies a lot, though, which is fine. You need to heal for exactly 5 HP. Oh, 6. Oh, amazing. Nah, 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 nah. There's Picky. Woof. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. See you, dog. Guess uh, I'll see you at home. Wah. Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. See, Pokey got scared and ran away. I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. It's you, Picky. You're the only one in your family that isn't a complete jerk-ass. And hear a sound that sounds like a bee buzzing around. <gasps> a bee I am not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all er, sent all to horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I'm from, there's a well known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. Passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and reveal the path of light. See, my opinion that you are that boy, duct. I be this I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, yeah. and friendship. The power of friendship. And listening to your heart. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl what? who will defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much to work on, or much work to do, Tuck. Did you listen to what I told you? Nah. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. I'm glad that I'm exceptional for listening. You will repeat the entire story if you say no, as many times as you want. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? They're not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is pounding right out of my chest. No, Pokey, you're not. In fact, you're... You just suck so much. You just suck so much. to go home. I thought non -plus Ness is whenever he's walking diagonally. Yep, yeah, this is me. Alright. Don't really care about anything that I'm seeing, but whatever. Zap! What is wrong with your mouth? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You must... You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard! So, I'm just gonna kick this into auto battle. There's nothing that I do here that matters. This is, this is Buzz Buzz's show, I'm just along for the ride.
Gotta defeat this Starman Jr. But Buzz Buzz is gonna throw up all kinds of shields for us and, you know, do real damage. I'll do a couple. Picky might hit for one here and there. Pokey will apologize a lot. But, uh, yeah, you know. It just happens. This is also the only time you see a Starman Jr. in the entire game. Oh. Not sure why they didn't reuse it later, because it's not like it's the only time we see Starman. But the only junior. I love the battle backgrounds in this game. They are really, really cool. But a very strange psychedelic feel for reasons. It's effective, though. It really draws a lot of, um, I guess, interest into these battles. Which otherwise would just be a standard RPG fight from, like, the Dragon Quest era. To see the enemies standing there. This adds a lot of flair. I think flair's a good word. Because uh, I think almost every enemy has its own unique battle background. If I'm incorrect, it would be every enemy type has its own battle background. Can't recall that offhand. But it's cool. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over their the evil in their minds. Is the truth, so listen. Hey, listen! Uh, this is my house. I need to take Pokey home. It sucks. Sam, how have you boys been? I wanted to think of a suitable punishment. Really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. By the way, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. I loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it could have been. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. This is the story of our life. Buzz Buzz, you fool! Hey! I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! Whack! Buzz Buzz, hero of the future. That is Pokey's mother. She's a clown, I think. Terrible. Ah, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See. Oh, I just remembered. I have to tell you a long story before I die. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet, or Onet, or Want. I don't know. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yeah. It could be... The, the town is... I've never heard of an official pronunciation of it. I've always called it Onet, or Wanet. But it could actually be pretty much anything. Especially considering that the other numbered towns are Tusa, or Tucson or Tucson, not sure. Reed and Foreside. It makes me want to think that it's pronounced with a, with a one emphasized. But that just sounds weird. Oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Urgh, gasp. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. Soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight Your Sanctuary locations. This stone is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. Do you want to hear this story one more time? Nope. Good! It's already dawn outside. It doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Arg! <sighs> Look at the soundstone. And Buzz Buzz disappeared from existence. Soundstone. 
can hear all the sanctuary music, which is nothing right now but this sweet drum beat. Actually, or is it nothing? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't hear it very well. Aw, uh, adventure begins. You can tell by the music. The song will get stuck in your head forever. Take it in, enjoy it. Oh, maybe not. You can enjoy it after I take a photo! Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Hello. Mom. Others understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. What a great mom. <laughs> so she would feed you whatever your favorite food you entered at the beginning is, because she's that nice. She will always make you your favorite food when you come home. Call Dad. Deposited 32 bucks into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should have $62 in the bank. Save that game, please. I continue. So yeah, this song's an earworm. I love it. I still find myself humming it to myself sometimes. Just, you know... Doing it. <laughs> Hello, enemy snake. No. Oh. Couldn't move, but then I can move again. Come on! I'm going to immediately go find a secret item. After I fight all the snakes in the known universe, apparently. This is the not so secret item, but I could use a map. Yeah, look at that map. Okay, so this library only lets children borrow maps for some reason. As if that's something that anybody wants. But I have this sweet map that now that seems to have a million sides to it, because there's no other way that everything would fit onto it. So, I'm up there. I'm gonna go over, uh, somewhere else. But I do have a magic map from this weird library. Here? No. Up ahead. I had to be down there. There we go. Into the secret hideout, where I can talk to a child dressed like gangster. I had a dream about you. You were traveling with a cute girl. Dream comes true. Say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. How about you? You've grown up since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool! I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I've wanted it for a long time. Best cap for someone really brave like you. Got Mr. Baseball Cap. Mr. Baseball Cap is the reason I've come here. It is good free armor.
Hamburger in the trash can. It's gonna take that. Let's see. How much do I need for a cheap bracelet? Ninety eight dollars. Should have enough. I actually didn't really need the T ball bad. Which is a bread roll sell for? Six dollars? No. Get seventy bucks out. Oh, another nice touch is uh, these pay phones. You actually do have to pay for. Them. They're not just phones for you to use. You got to put a buck into them. Okay, T-Ball Bat. I would like to equip it here. Go, uh, fight some snakes or something. Get enough money to buy that bracelet, because I kind of need it. Hello, dog. Ready to be fought. I like that the dogs look like they're wearing, like, trendy sunglasses. They sort of wrap around the side of their heads. Either that or they have the weirdest eyes. I like to think that they're wearing sunglasses. It makes them much cooler. Hello, dog. Ready to be smote. This yellow house. Nothing. Nothing is going on with the yellow house. We could buy that house later. I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet from the scenic spot. Send my haunting melody throughout the town. I can't remember what that song is, but that is a real song, for what that's worth. Okay, the sharks. I don't really want to fight that many of you at once. Oh, this could be bad. Uh... Ooh, smash attack. That was good timing. Ooh, one health. That was scary. Yes Man Jr. became tame. Ooh, that was scary. Ooh, four offense up. Three defense. Really coming up in the world. I got Hypnosis A, which I will probably never use. Who is this stop sign for? Just in the middle of a street. I need ninety-eight dollars. Bank. To have forty-seven dollars in the bank. To sell that bread roll. <laughs> Guy. Buy my bread? Take this cheap bracelet. Perfect. Now that I have real defense, I can go do some more stuff. Be a good boy and use crosswalks. Pizza shop. Doing mock pizza.
Yeah, I should be significantly less there right now. Anything in your trash can? And a fruit juice. Nice. myself. Present was a hamburger. Ooh, that's a good find. Okay. Uh two guys again. I'm going to take the walk back up to my mother and get some more food, but then it's time to take on their boss Frank. I enjoy the fight against this silly enemy sort of song there. Ooh, 14 health. That's a good level. Where is this? 14 might not actually be that much in this game. It's been a long time. I could stay at the hotel. Why would I do that when my house is free? Mistake. That you understand me, mother. I also love this song. It's got a very pleasant feel to it. You don't hear it very often, but it is nice. I'll call my dad. Here again. Head back down to the arcade so we can fight the shark's boss. Let's see. If I can avoid fights, that would be good, because I need the health. Stay away! Dang it. Take out the Yes Man Jr. Great. Well, his fear shredding is as dangerous as it sounds. I did beat up your buddy. What do do about it? I fall over? I thought. Another hamburger. That's awesome. Hey kid, do you want to become a member? Yeah. Come back after you finish Earthbound. 
Well, you're in my way from finishing Earthbound, so... Time for fisticuffs. About 50. 100% beef! Ooh, good! Okay, and this heals me for an amount. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Boss fight time! Tell he's dangerous because he's swinging a knife around. Ow. Okay. Okay, Frank became tame. Second half of the boss fight time. Still prove Frank can't be beaten. Puff puff. And this is Frankie Stein Mark II. I don't know how dangerous you are. Of baseline. Oh, but there's danger. Who seems to attack every other turn? There we go. That wasn't so bad. Now level six. Not a great level. All right. First defeat. Bill Proof Frank is now just failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. We've got a special power stored there. It allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer Shack. Urkel? Mayor of Onnet has a key to the shack. Come stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Thanks, Frank. That was a whole lot of exposition for a guy that the head of a gang, guys that hang out in an arcade and ride pogo sticks. So, ooh, butterfly. So the butterflies will return your PP, or psychic points, or power points. Whatever lets you use your psychic powers. The butterflies are awesome when you run into them. I can just walk into the mayor's office. Hey. You beat up the sharks. Talk to the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Alright. Hey, Mayor Perkle. You have a sprite facing this way? Nice. I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. Beat up the town bullies, punch them out big time, kick their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you! What? With the key to the Torrigan Entertainer Shack, someone as great as you giving you the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be avo able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yeah. Such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Thank you. Go there. Oh, 
health. Man, there's a lot of butterflies around. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out, out of their home. Can't remember the name of the school, but her Paula's really special. Why is she so special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Thank you, random stranger. Hello, dog. So, nice feature in this game. If you sneak up on enemies, you can get preemptive attacks. Neat. If they sneak up on you, they get preemptive attacks. Not so neat. If an enemy is weak enough that um, you could feasibly beat them in one turn, or I don't know what the criteria is, the game will auto-defeat them. So these snakes and the dogs and everything, just bam, dead. Free stuff. It gives you a sort of a reward for getting strong. Let's unlock the key to the shack. Rather, let's unlock the shack with the key to the shack. Thank you for the trinket. What does it do? I can't remember what the travel charm does. I think it prevents some status effects? Paralysis. Okay with that. Shack sucks. I love the names of enemies in this game. The Rowdy Mouse. These things have a... These guys have a really high crit rate. I'm doing alright, Nathan Sample Games. How are you? We're just playing some Earthbound tonight, and we're making pretty fast progress. Rowdy Mouse defeated. Rowdy Mouse is a fun name. That is just the tip of the iceberg of silly named monsters. I guess I don't even know, even know if I'd call them monsters. It's silly it's named enemies. Look. Not a strip club. It's a restaurant. Rowdy Buck. Not a strip club. I believe that. Which is amazing. I feel like that would be good. So we have now been joined by Crafty Cat. He was just sit d sat down on the couch next to me. Had a tough week? Oh, that sucks. At least it's the weekend now. Give you a couple days to recover. It's a freaking weekend, baby! About to have me. Black Antoid. Black Antoid! <laughs> Things have a really high attack. Gonna consume these cookies. Consume cookies. I'm sure. <laughs> skip sandwich. Skip sandwich. The skip Shouldn't sandwiches. Like that. Skip sandwiches are actually pretty neat. They let me increase my movement speed on the map for a little bit. As well as heal me a little bit. So I'll probably be eating that after this fight. Just so I can scoot around. Ouch. Stop. Cat, please stop. He's brutal. Consume Prilosec. It will bring you joy! <laughs> oh, I love that. So silly. Skip sandwich. <clears throat> They're still faster than I am. Uh, attack slugs. I, I also like them. They try hypnosis, but it doesn't work very well. I'm gonna go on auto battle. They might call friends, but it's doubtful.
Running faster from place to place. Indeed, the game grumps are good boys. 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 I've watched them for a very long time. Actually, since the start of their channel. Great content. Anything else stupid to eat? And a fruit juice, what are you about? About six. Okay, same as a cookie. They're fat. Burning off a lot of calories fighting these ants. I was hoping these were slugs. This kind of sucks. I like they're two different colored anti. They're adorable, but this is terrible. These, these go before the last one? Okay. Uh, mm. Oh! Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, I need to run. Oh, I need to run. Fail. No! Oh, I held on with one health. Please. No! Ooh, ants! Oh, the ants. This is how you get ants! <laughs> Yeah, I watched a lot of Ego Raptor's old stuff as well. I remember Metal Gear Awesome appearing on Newgrounds front page. Oh, that's been so long. Makes me feel old. Makes me feel really old too. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was skeptical of Dan at first as well. Glad he worked out, because he's phenomenal. He's very pig penny. He's filthy, look at him. He's... Don't watch out duty for the hideout. Okay, that's your job. Filthy. Look at this mole. The hint mole. I don't need any hints though. Don't enter. I'm gonna enter anyway though. No! Don't do it. No, I did not hear about that good news, Nathan. Hey, yeah, butterfly. I still missed out I shouldn't have done anything. I'm good. Okay. Hello. Eh. Missed my skip sandwich already. Jeez, mouse. Please. Haha. <laughs> drop on him. I did get the drop on him. Take that, rowdy mouse. Yeah, you're the one getting smashed this time. Get fucked. Get bent. <laughs> I'll check it out. Rowdy Mouse became tame. Okay, no ants this time? Ants in pants. One ants in my pants. Coming and for you. One it's gonna get you. It's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna fight that ant. Ah, oh, you got the drop on. Oh, it didn't. 
neutral? Yep. Grace neutral? Yes. You both saw each other and slowly, slowly move towards each other. Correct. At a not alarming rate. Uh, thank you. I wish I could say that I made that logo, but my good friend, uh, who wishes to remain anonymous, did all of my, uh, logos and everything for the channel. It's not Crafty Cat. Zoom pant. <laughs> I don't want his pants. I don't want him. Let's see if I can take him. Come on, ants. I hope my next level up gives me more defense, because I Against really need it. Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass would be very helpful right about now. Offense up by four, speed up by one, guts up by three, luck by two. No defense! Just one in defense. Oh, that must have been a slug. Uh, the upscaler that I use is a, I think, it's a Canex Pro. Uh, it ran me about, I think, 90 bucks. So it's in the middle for uh, upscalers, but it does a pretty good job. I'm not happy with it. I think it makes uh, the colors a little bit washed out, but it does a really good job at the uh, upscaler part of it. So if you're looking for one just to, like, do this kind of stuff, I would suggest it, but if you're looking for something more high-end, you should definitely go above it. I'm looking for a, a replacement at the moment, but I don't know when that will, uh, come to fruition. Uh, ants. Ants. We got to name that ability earlier. Haha! <laughs> I did. It was a lot of my EP to get there. Put that away. You push your PP away. <laughs> okay? Nobody wants to see that. You should see that. Glad that I'm fighting all of these slugs because they don't fight back very well. One's an ant. Nope. Uh, is there anything in here for me? Oh. Present. That would be a good idea. Composite is pretty rough. Unless you're running directly into a CRT. Um. We have a several of them. We do, but, uh, yeah, if you're not using a CRT, that's pretty, pretty painful. Auto-fight these slugs. One involved. Ash! Did. I defeated the slugs. Did it. Ruin their empire. The slug empire. The slug empire, I destroy it. <laughs> okay, time to heal and then touch that butterfly. So, hey, there's the giant step. Gotcha, that makes sense. I've never run, run composite for uh, any capture. So that does make a lot of sense. For hamburger. Get you. Got you. Ant? Nope, slug. One! Oh, free level up! You did it! Fence up by one, vitality up by one, health up a lot. It left me a cookie. Alright. Oh, nope. They're gonna, they're gonna touch you. Nope. There we go. 
Sometimes you just gotta say nope and leave the room and come back. Okay. Time for the first real boss fight. I don't know if I'd count Frank, but... My first Jor Sanctuary location. This is where the magnifying glass we mentioned before would come in handy a lot. So... That to wipe out the Antoids because they are the worst. Fight this ant. Okay. Cuss and so I can use it. Burger. Can't use it twice anymore. Freaking ant. Fast? No! <laughs> My father was an Antoid. And his father before him? And his father? <laughs> that was really unfortunate. So, also a fun thing about Earthbound. Whenever you take damage, your health doesn't immediately become the total that it would, you know, subtract to. It'll run down like a meter, so you actually have time to react to stuff while you're dying. So if you, I were able to have actually eaten that burger, I would have recovered instead of dying. Bert. Hello, Hubert. See what you're up to. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. That's okay. You do you, Hubert. You do you. fight. I don't want to have to get another level, but I guess... I mean, I guess I'll get one on the way. That thing's a pain. In the butt. Duct tape better than flex tape? I don't know if that's true. That stuff seals anything. I think I made a boat bottom out of it. Jeez. You'd make a boat bottom out of you. I don't know if I'd make a good boat. Let's just hollow you out. <laughs> Oh no! I'm a little skeptical about that. <laughs> That'll be fine. For you, maybe. That'll be fine. Ah. In the boat mood. I don't know. I don't. I'm not the Kingdom Hearts villain. I'm not just gonna become a boat. I can accept being equal to flex tape. That's a great compliment. <laughs> what happens when the Bishop of Tape flexes his various valuable belongings? Like. I don't know how powerful Mighty Putty is. I don't think it's as powerful as Flex Tape. Are you sure? You could probably just build a boat out of it. Not him. You could just be the boat. I don't know. I mean, I'd be willing to try it. Oh, it seems I know pretty the ridiculous. Found. It's stupid expensive. Let's... Um. Yeah, the uh, from a just owning it perspective, it is expensive. Um, I've had mine since the 90s, so it's worth way more than it used to be. But um, as far as cons for the game itself, it's a little slow. Um, I don't really think it's a con. I enjoy that it's slow. That's no fair. It, it gives you more of an experience. Um, 
Yeah, but that's the point of the game. It is an ex Yeah. It's true. Experience in a box. <laughs> it is an experience in a box. The box for Earthbound was its own experience. Uh, I can't actually think of too much negative about this game. It plays very well. Um, can't even really think of anything that really annoyed me other than if you are desperate enough to want to get Boo's only weapon, that grind can be terrible. I don't. I like grinding. Uh, you know, it's. So I, I could be. I could be a special breed. I enjoy. Tasks over I, and over again. I don't know the drop rate for the Sword of Kings, but it is low. And it only drops off of one specific enemy in one specific area of the game. And that is rough. Um, other than that, there's not really much about this game that I dislike. The writing's super fun, the gameplay is... I mean... The battles are what they are. It's like playing Dragon Quest, but a little more cutesy. Yeah, the Starman Super Drop. That is rough. Um, things to really improve. Jeez, I really can't think of anything. I don't know. I... This game is a freaking masterpiece. I'm sure that I there's... I enjoy it for what it is. I think it captures a moment in time of, like... I'm gonna get all philosophical here about uh -huh. video games here for a second, but... In the time of when this came out, like, I think... Masterpiece. I... Even if it had a quote-unquote... I'm doing air quotes. Flaw to it, it, it's... Je ne sais quoi? That's it has fair. a je ne sais quoi aspect to it. I don't think that it's a flaw to be fixed. That's just my personal. But I have not. I don't even. I've never even personal. I have though. I've finished this a bunch of times. In fact, as you saw at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of this, my original save file is still on here from the mid '90s. <laughs> my one from not. Yeah, your one save file from not the mid '90s. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything I would actually change about this game. Um, there's no... Actually, wait. There's one thing, and it is the fact that if you have the trout yogurt machine on Paula when she gets kidnapped, the game doesn't tell you that it ends up in storage. <laughs> that. That is the one thing. That freaking trout-flavored yogurt machine. The monkey cave is also not fun, but it is what it is. Oh, nice. I don't know about that. There might be some, like, theoretical argument that Gygus and Ness might be the same person. But, uh, Sans, nah. <laughs> it's true that it doesn't have item quantities while buying, but the way the inventory works here is not a numbered style inventory. Um, so I think actually a part of that is just managing what's going on here. It's not a very exciting portion of the game, um, but it does have its, um, purpose. It limits you to what you can actually carry in your hands, and it makes you think about what's going on. I guess it'd be nice to be able to be like, hey, I want to fill my inventory with hamburgers, let me buy five, but um, that's, I guess just more of a minor nitpick than anything else. <laughs> I like, I like it for that. It makes it ever so slightly different. I have a different view. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bother changing it. It's I mean, like, it's a convenience thing, but it's not really that inconvenient. Yeah, it's just the thing. And I like that you got to, like, pick the background and your colors. It gives you time to look at what you did. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing you get to appreciate. This game was a labor of love. I, I can say that for certain. Um, because, factoid, uh, did you know gaming? Haha. <laughs> Great show, if you don't 
watch it, you should. Uh, Itoi, the guy that uh, did all this, didn't actually know how to use computers at the time. So all of the script was dictated letter by letter uh, to the, a person with a typewriter who wrote it all out. <laughs> um, so everything in this was meticulously crafted. And it's just a joy. I'm at full health. Getting some points, but... Did I level up? Still nine? Still nine. Level an experience for the next level. Okay, we're just gonna go back down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk outside and okay. fight this thing. Level 10, offense up by 2. Wow, that was a terrible level. I'm gonna go touch that butterfly. like to go into that fight with all of my health and PP. We weren't guaranteed a butterfly. Ooh, that's no good. About this way. How many times do I have to go in and out this door? There's one. Okay. can do it. I don't want to. Stop. Oh, it was a slug. Wood. Oh, the slug left me a present. It was a cookie. Okay, see ya, ants. One. I won. Success. There's another slug. I wish life was that easy. Yeah, just touch things and succeed. Yeah. Ta-da! Bam! Yes! I did it. I also wish I could climb like that. Yeah, Ness is a true hero. Just shimmy, 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 shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> 11 slash 12. There's... I know, because we were supposed to. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I told you, they want us to iron cross, though, which was ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I don't understand why they would ever try to make you do that. You know what, like, one asshole kid could do it. Run A. Far high for everyone else. It's true. I don't think that Earthbound pretends the PK Beam doesn't exist. I think that was just, uh, something that they didn't bring forward from Mother. Earth 
burger. You know what I like? Huh? I like this little I think he's got a little snack. He does. It's great. I like it. Okay. Oh my eyes. Brown. Those are really eyebrows. I have eyebrows. This one has a furrowed brow. But he does. He has a little furrowed brow of snaggle too. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, uh, it put me to a number where that wouldn't matter. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> See you, Titanic Ant. Titanic. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the deal with PK Beam is. I've never actually played Mother or finished Mother 3. Play Mother. But I'm going to play both of those at some point. <laughs> I'm going to translate it. Yes, we're planning to play Mother at some point. Well, um, Google's going to translate it and I'm going to read it. Correct. Which is going to be bad. Yes, so I'm going to be running a Japanese cover, or, or cover, copy of Mother, and we are going to go on a Google Translate adventure. It's going to be a while. <laughs> it's going to be a while. It's going to be a something. <laughs> but it'll be, a, it'll be an experience. We'll see how it was meant to be with Teddy's elbow intact. <laughs> it is, because for whatever reason, in the American, or the uh, English version, they changed his elbow. I don't know why. Expensive. Sure, it became more square. Let's see, we've got our first thing. Let's listen to it. No, that's a hamburger. Listen to the hamburger. I don't want to listen to the hamburger. When it's coded for you, listen to the hamburger. So as we get as we get um, more of our sanctuary spots, that song will be completed, which is nice. We do get to make music. What are you giggling about? <laughs> Share with the class. <laughs> Probably off topic. He just wants to. He just wants to see people. What? <laughs> you said I think it was Vader or whatever. Why did you stab me, Bobby? Bobby, you stabbed me. <laughs> so, where, why she is giggling. Uh, crying. <laughs> cry, crying and giggling. I'm not sure even why <laughs> this was brought up. But, uh, let's see. The third Dark Knight movie. <laughs> I believe that was The Dark Knight Rises. At the very, toward the very end of the movie, Batman gets stabbed. It sounds a whole, no, don't. Um, Batman gets stabbed and sounds a whole lot like Hank Hill. <laughs> to which, in the theater, one of my friends turns around and immediately says, God dang it, Bobby, you stabbed me! With a much better Hank Hill voice than me, which really made the whole movie. <laughs> Nothing could have been more perfect than Batman getting stabbed and sounding like Hank Hill. <laughs> That's why I'm crying! <laughs> It's really funny the more you think about it. I could not read, officer. I'll get my butt to the police station later. Well, you gotta go fight the law. <laughs> First, I gotta go see my mom. A good boy. You should. Saturn. Oh god. <laughs> if all the Mr. Saturns sounded like Hank Hill. Oh no. Oh come on, it's brilliant. KO. <laughs> oh. Mr. Saturn and Mr. Saturn accessories. He's living on the propane tank. Oh. If anybody out there has art skills, please. I don't, but I can MS paint that shit. Please. 
Please do that. Oh. Ducked. Ducked. I am a friend who you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Mr. Saturn sounding like a deep fast with an accent. Boing ding ding! So like... Boing ding! Boing ding ding! I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I... I love Mr. Saturns though. They are the cutest. Let's uh, go fight the police. Thank you for sharing that. talk to somebody first. Glad that you're a cop, sir. Oh, times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Yeah, I want to go to Tucson. Okay, chortle. A chortle is a <laughs> but I don't know for certain. Show me what you got. Show me what Show you me got. What you See if you can get past the five of the best men, or five of my best men. I can do it. Yeah. Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Cop attacked. Cop turned back to normal. Their Nintendo and their cigarettes and their baggy pants and their hippity hop music. It's kids these days. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Not stronger than my baseball bat! Bring it on, fat boy! What a jerk cop! Thank you, Skepso, for the follow. Sorry I'm a minute or two late there. I really, really appreciate it. What was that? Oh. Grafty Cat's doing a thing. Thinking about making him better. Drugs and MTV. Yeah. 
with their beavis and butthead and other relevant colloquialisms. They fully healed. <laughs> Taste the propane. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call him for my boss. Alright. No way I could beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Material Arts. Or Martial Arts. Jeez. Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Strong is on guard. So on guard that I missed him. Oh, ouch. Okay. That hurt. Heal, please? Nope. Crap. Hey, Mom. Give me a heal. Are these kids that we're talking about Arthur Fonzarelli? Bonus points to anybody out there who knows exactly what I'm talking about that isn't currently in the same room as me. <laughs> Crafty cat. dig through that. Nope, just garbage. Alright. Uh, they're all John Travolta, huh? That kind of scary, actually. I have to refight all the cops. I don't want to fight all the cops. So many cops! No! Show me what you got. I want to see what you have got! <laughs> Committing their sins and kicking people in the shins. Sounds like a good movie tagline. seen Hairspray. Didn't he play a lady in Hairspray? I think he did. Someone fact check me, please. I don't want to get on John Travolta's bad side. Suplex attack. So, John Travolta was, in fact, a woman in hairspray? Okay. Played a female girl woman. 
All right. I guess it's better than female girl man. How do I feel about that? <laughs> oh, three defense. Beautiful. I got shield A, which is not helpful here. Okay, Captain Strong. Uh. <laughs> crafty female, or crafty, a female girl woman. I think he was talking to you directly. <laughs> oh, if he stays on guard all day, this is fine. Beautiful. He just, uh, did nothing the entire fight. He's gonna radio the staff and give him the word. This is the only time you see this sprite of him. I think. Thanks for wishing me good luck. I'm gonna walk to Tucson. Where we go? Do I have inventory space? I do. I want to pick something up along the way here. Important to me. Ants run for me in fear. Woo! Do I get to come along too? I'm gonna take your son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can in fact lead me to the exit of a maze. Come with me, exit mouse. Ooh, rambling evil mushrooms. Again, an example of great names for enemies. It's a rambling evil mushroom. I love it. Look at their little feet. Or, I guess... Ry rhizomes? Is that what their knot roots are? I need to brush up on my mycology. Another 50 cent word for you. I think that amble and evil mushrooms are also a thing later. We'll find out though, because I can't remember. I am, however, really glad that these guys showed up as an item in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Not that anybody uses items, but, you know, it's cute. And we have made it to Tucson. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. So distinguish between your friends and enemies. You can tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid enemies. No, the mole speaks the truth. No racism. Just uh, people that are uh, aggressive are usually blue for some reason. Let's see if I can find a blue person. To show you that that mole is not racist. Nah, uh, they're... Come on, a blue person. Just be somewhere. Preferably a hippie.
Nope. Okay. Just gonna walk around Tucson. Uh, let's see my buddy Apple Kid. What he's up to. Apple Kid. He's taken a bath in quite a while, so he's stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? Yeah, you can have a food. Uh, you can have this cookie. Yeah, I'll invest money in your inventions. Going to rummage around in your trash. Take that broken machine. And I will go get you $200, American. Well, actually, Eagle Landium. Use dollars. Regardless. Hello, dog. It was a kidnapping, believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. store. Let's withdraw all of my money. On one, eight, four. All but one dollar, apparently. Tumbling, stumbling, drunkard, mystery mop man materializes. <laughs> There's no drunkards in this game. All the references of alcohol have been replaced with coffee. This is child friendly. Okay. Anchoring Hefty Herald <laughs> rambles. Like that. Uh, I actually need nothing of this. Thank you. How about you, lady? What do you got? Uh. Big teddy bear. Oh. I have my bread roll. Like that teddy bear, please. Okay, so I only need two hundred dollars for Apple Kid. Orange Kid can uh, shove it. Not that he's a bad person, and his inventions are not useful to me in any way, shape, or form. Covering hoop skirt pops in. You're very good at uh, throwing together these. Um, what I'm looking for. All this alliteration, I like it. What? Leva. Rippy Janet. Sounds awful. Oh, there's a hippie. Okay, so, blue-skinned people. They're under the influence of Gygus and are evil. But, who's this hippie? The New Age Retro Hippie. New Age Retro Hippie use a ruler. Now he can figure out the length of things easily. New Age Retro Hippie uses toothbrush. Teeth are white. He solidified me with his teeth. Now work on the teddy bear, however. A wild moisture sloth appeared. Blech. Blech. Yeah, I'll invest money in your inventions. I'm a mouse. No one's giving me a name yet. My name is now Kevin. Take care of my master. In turn, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Unfortunately, you have too many items. Therefore, I cannot give this to you. I must be in your way. Okay. What am I throwing on the floor? Healing 
get rid of cold? I think it can. Throw this cold remedy on the ground. Get out of here. What do you want to give me, mouse? Got the receiver phone. It's a phone that only receives calls. It can't make them, but it sure can receive them. With Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Hello. Whistle, whistle anywhere. Makes us me smile all the while. Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Uh, she's not in a good place, though. Well. You want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but there goes leeches. Are you from a TV station or what? Meet you or not? Meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said she would only meet with a boy named Duct. So you're ducked. The one who's in Paula's dream. You'll save the world. Let me go call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? No, nope, got a mission. Time for a mission. Say I'm going to walk over here and hate everything. Ooh, butterfly. Moldy Mildred mushes mustily. Your alliteration game is strong, Nathan. Not very. <laughs> Why? Whether they're trying to steal psychic power from that teddy bear makes my life much easier. Oh no. Hell's nap, though. Wash your ass, if you Ah, gotcha. Good old inside joke. No, it's making friends. <laughs> Stop trying to steal all of my magics. Stop being mobile, mobile sprouts. Stinky, smelly stench hands. They try to steal power from the teddy bear, the more powerful I am. Perfect for a hamburger to heal. Dum dum dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms, collecting a ton. 
So she conveniently will remove the mushroom status from me if I happen to get mushroomized. No, I'm good about surviving battles. Let's go up here and see this weirdness. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Alright then. So, another fun factoid, the uh, Japanese version of this, this definitely is not a pencil, but is in fact an octopus statue for some reason. So, you know, <laughs> that's the thing that got changed in localization. For what it's worth. Hello, cute little UFO. Oh, it's just the little UFO. Cute ones have bows. The sign of language. <laughs> okay, so the eraser eraser. Pencil eraser, rather. What I need now. Sprouts. That's so many sprouts. Oh no, my teddy bear. Using some sigh. And the first one still didn't go down. Teddy bear. They're so helpful. Haha! <laughs> Sneak up on this mobile sprout. Good level. I don't want to fight that. Hello, this is Apple Kid. Finished work on a great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing's so cool. We'll see you soon. Clam. Beep. Genius, I'll tell you, he's in Berglund Park looking for you. Thanks, Orange Kid. Your tool. I guess you could have been working before I met you. 
incredibly powerful. Don't use it near a pen the shop that sells pencils. Inventory space, I do. Hello, Mr. Berglund. person. Remember, he's not drunk. He's just having a good time. On coffee. The annoying old party man. Exactly. less than two hundred dollars, so doing that. Escalator. With the purchase of this teddy bear, we'll call it a night for this. After I call my dad. Well, thanks for giving me that money. And I'm gonna save. There we go. So I'll be calling it a night here. We'll be picking this up next week. 